Deep in the Nevada desert, a desperate farmer's search for water unleashed something that would leave scientists baffled for generations. What emerged from beneath the Earth's surface wasn't just water. It was a mysterious force of nature that transformed a barren patch of land into what looked like a scene from another planet. Shut it down! Shut it down now! The foreman's desperate shouts pierced through the hissing steam as scalding water erupted from the newly drilled well, sending workers scrambling for safety. The year was 1916, and what should have been a routine irrigation project on a modest Nevada ranch had just turned into chaos. The ground shook as water, heated to an extreme 200 degrees Fahrenheit, shot high into the air, creating a dangerous scene no one had foreseen. The ranch owner watched in horror as his dreams of agricultural success went up in steam. Instead of finding the life-giving water they'd hoped for, it was a scorching 200 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to cause serious burns. His investment in the well, meant to save his failing crops, had instead created a hazard that would need to be abandoned. However, nature had different plans for this failed project, plans that would take decades to fully reveal themselves. News of this accidental discovery spread through the local farming community like wildfire. Some called it a curse, others a blessing in disguise. Rumors began circulating about mysterious lights and strange sounds coming from the site at night. The more superstitious locals whispered that the drill had awakened something that should have been left undisturbed. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the scalding water continued to flow relentlessly. The ranch owner had no choice but to fence off the area, creating an odd site that would later become familiar to many. A restricted zone in the middle of nowhere, steam rising mysteriously from behind chain-link barriers. The real transformation was just beginning. As the hot water continued its endless journey to the surface, dissolved minerals began accumulating around the wellhead. Layer by layer, these mineral deposits grew into something extraordinary year after year. The local children started calling it the monster in the desert as the formation appeared increasingly alien. They would dare each other to get as close as possible to the steaming structure, though their parents strictly forbade such dangerous adventures. Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, the mysterious well became something of a local legend. Travelers passing through would often stop to gaze at the strange formation growing in the desert. Some even claimed it had healing properties, though getting close enough to test such claims was impossible due to the dangerous temperatures. The landowners received countless offers from entrepreneurs wanting to turn the site into a tourist attraction, but they consistently refused, perhaps understanding that some natural wonders are best left undisturbed. Nearly five decades passed and the boiling well had become part of local folklore. Then in 1964, a group of ambitious entrepreneurs arrived, convinced they could succeed where the farmer had failed. The energy company saw potential in the geothermal activity and decided to drill a second well nearby. They brought modern equipment and experienced geologists, certain that their scientific approach would yield better results. The drilling crew worked methodically, their equipment more sophisticated than what had been available in 1916. The searing heat of the Nevada desert was nothing new for the drilling crew, but on this day, something felt different. The drill roared as it plunged deeper into the crust, its vibrations rumbling through the earth. Workers called out over the noise, their voices tense. Pressure's spiking, a technician shouted, staring at the gauges. The foreman, wiping sweat from his brow, leaned in for a closer look. Shut it down, we're going too deep. But before the switch could be flipped, the ground heaved violently beneath them. A deafening crack tore through the air as steam erupted from the borehole, followed by an explosive geyser of scalding water over 200 feet into the air. Get back, the foreman yelled, waving his arms as workers scrambled. The rig groaned under the pressure before collapsing in a thunderous crash, sending shards of metal flying. Fissures split open in the ground, releasing bursts of hissing steam. Amid the chaos, Dan Carter, the team's youngest geologist, spotted the recorder teetering near the widening cracks. We need that data, he shouted, but no one dared move. Against the foreman's orders, Dan sprinted forward, weaving through plumes of boiling steam. The heat clawed at his skin, and every step felt like a gamble as the ground shifted beneath him. He reached the recorder, grabbing it just as the edge crumbled away. The earth groaned again and Dan leapt to solid ground, landing hard but clutching the device. He scrambled to his feet, coughing in the suffocating haze, and stumbled back toward the team. As the geyser roared behind them, the foreman pulled Dan to safety. You're crazy, Carter, but that data might just save us. The crew stood in stunned silence, watching the earth unleash its fury. History, it seemed, had repeated itself. The deafening roar of the escaping steam could be heard for miles around, drawing crowds of amazed onlookers who gathered at a safe distance to witness the awesome display of natural power. 
Seismometers in the nearby monitoring station recorded significant ground tremors as the underground pressure found its release, while geologists noted with growing concern that the water temperature was considerably higher than their initial estimates had suggested. The team quickly realized they had inadvertently tapped into a far more extensive geothermal system than anyone had anticipated, one that would challenge all their previous assumptions about the site's potential. The company tried desperately to cap the well, but their efforts proved futile. The pressure was simply too great, and the water found new paths to the surface, seeping through cracks and fissures in the ground. What happened next would baffle scientists for years to come and create one of North America's most unique geological features. The minerals in the water, particularly calcium carbonate and silica, began creating structures that seemed to defy natural law. As the scalding water cooled and the minerals precipitated out, they formed terraces and pools in an array of colors that seemed more at home in a fantasy movie than the Nevada desert. But it wasn't just the minerals causing this spectacular display. Tiny organisms called thermophilic algae, thriving in the extreme conditions, painted the growing formation in brilliant shades of red and green. These microscopic artists adapted to life in scalding temperatures that would kill most organisms and became the unwitting decorators of this growing monument. The algae created different colors depending on the temperature of the water and the mineral content, resulting in a living, breathing artwork that changed with the seasons and conditions. The structure continued its relentless growth, eventually reaching 12 feet in height and width. The surrounding area transformed into a complex network of terraced pools, spreading across an astounding 74 acres of desert landscape. Each pool developed its own unique characteristics, with different temperatures and mineral compositions creating distinct microenvironments. Local photographers who ventured to document the phenomenon often found their images met with skepticism. Surely this otherworldly scene couldn't be real. The formations looked more like something from a science fiction movie set than a natural occurrence in the Nevada desert. Some even accused the photographers of manipulating their images, unable to believe that such a bizarre and beautiful structure could form naturally. Scientists who studied the formation made even more startling discoveries. Dr. Carolina Munoz Saez, a leading geologist in geothermal formations, found something unprecedented during her research. The unique combination of minerals and temperature had created quartz crystals at an impossible rate. A process that typically takes up to 10,000 years was happening in mere decades. The geyser wasn't just creating beautiful formations, it was rewriting geological textbooks. The rapid crystal formation puzzled geologists worldwide. Traditional models of mineral formation couldn't explain the speed at which these structures were developing. Some theorized that the unique combination of minerals, temperature, and pressure had created perfect conditions for accelerated crystal growth. Others suggested that previously unknown geological processes might be at work. The strange beauty of the site began attracting more than just scientists. Nature photographers, adventure seekers, and the simply curious began making pilgrimages to what was now being called Fly Geyser. The name came from its location on Fly Ranch, though some locals joked it was because the formation looked like something that had flown in from another planet. The constant flow of water created its own ecosystem in the middle of the desert. Despite their high temperature, the series of pools became home to several species that had adapted to the warm waters. Birds began using the area as a migratory stopover point, creating a bizarre oasis in the otherwise harsh landscape. Desert plants, typically sparse in the region, thrived in the humid microclimate created by the constant steam and warm water. Wildlife biologists were fascinated by how quickly animals adapted to this artificial environment. Species that wouldn't be found in the desert began appearing around the geyser. The warm pools attracted everything from migrating waterfowl to desert amphibians, creating an unlikely wildlife sanctuary in the middle of the arid landscape. The property owners found themselves in an unusual position, what had started as an agricultural failure had become an accidental tourist attraction. They began receiving requests from documentary filmmakers, scientific expeditions, and curious tourists, all wanting to witness this geological wonder firsthand. However, concerns about safety and preservation led them to restrict access, making the site even more mysterious and sought after. The restricted access only added to the geyser's mystique. Stories circulated about nighttime visitors who managed to sneak close enough to see the formation illuminated by moonlight, describing an almost supernatural scene as steam rose through the silver light and the colored minerals seemed to glow with an inner fire. Then, in 2016, another chapter in this strange tale began. The Burning Man Project, a nonprofit organization known for its annual desert gathering, saw the potential in this accidental wonder. They purchased the entire three 800-acre fly ranch including the geyser, 
for $6.5 million. Their vision extended beyond mere preservation. They wanted to share this unique phenomenon with the world while protecting its delicate ecosystem. The acquisition marked a turning point in the geyser's history. The Burning Man project brought a new philosophy to the site's management, one that balanced public access with environmental protection. They understood that this accidental wonder had become something more than just a failed well or a geological curiosity. It was now a symbol of how human activity and nature could create something extraordinary together. Under their stewardship, the site has been transformed into a carefully managed natural attraction. From April to October, small groups can join guided nature walks to witness this remarkable accident of human intervention and natural processes. Visitors must maintain a safe distance. The water still emerges at that dangerous 200 degree Fahrenheit temperature, but they can witness the rainbow colored formations and steaming pools that make Fly Geyser unique. The guides share not just the geological history of the site, but also its cultural impact on the region. They tell stories of the original ranchers' disappointment turning into wonder, of the energy company's failed attempt leading to an even more spectacular formation, and of the countless people who have been inspired by this accidental wonder over the decades. The original farmer's failed well has created something far more valuable than an irrigation source. It became a masterpiece of nature. The formation, which keeps growing and changing, is a stunning example of how mistakes can lead to unexpected beauty. Every day, new mineral deposits add to its size and complexity. Scientists estimate that it grows several inches a year, but the speed depends on the minerals in the water and how it flows. Recent studies have shown that the mineral composition of the water changes subtly with the seasons, affecting both the growth rate and coloration of the formation. During warmer months, the thermophilic algae bloom more vigorously, creating more intense colors. In cooler months, mineral deposition rates change, affecting the structure's growth patterns. The story of Fly Geyser has become a symbol of how human intervention in nature can lead to unexpected and beautiful results. The initial disappointment of finding boiling water instead of irrigation water has transformed into a celebration of nature's creative force. The site now serves as a laboratory for scientists studying geothermal activity, mineral formation, and extremophile organisms. Environmental scientists have begun studying the geyser's unique ecosystem for insights into how life adapts to extreme conditions. The findings could have implications for understanding how life might exist in harsh environments on other planets. What started as a farmer's desperate attempt to find water has become a valuable resource for scientific research and environmental education. Today, the fly geyser is one of America's most unique natural wonders, showing how human activity and nature can create something extraordinary. The farmer drilling for water back in 1916 could never have imagined that his abandoned well would become a rainbow-colored wonder admired by the world. And there you have it, folks. The incredible true story of how a farmer's search for water created one of North America's most stunning geological features. What do you think about this amazing accident of nature? Have you ever seen anything like Fly Geyser in your travels? Let us know in the comments below.